What are these two tools? Drills, you're right. But sometimes they can be lathes. Now they're not actually lathes, right? But you can use them as a lathe because the definition for the lathe is a machine for shaping a material by means of rotating drive that turns the piece being worked on against changeable cutting tools. So if you're using it to spin it and you're cutting on it, then you're lathing it. But you don't call a wrench a hammer if you use it like a hammer, it's still a wrench. The reason I'm talking about this is because I watched Maker in Training's video last night on his no lathe pen and it was really cool and after I watched it it showed me like 60 other videos and I watched a whole bunch of them and there were a bunch of people that were doing no lathe pens because apparently some guy started a challenge to do no lathe pens I think it's a contest cool idea and I'm pretty sure the guy meant for you to think outside of the box and come up with an idea for making a pen that didn't have to do with using a lathe. So why would you use a drill? Because then you're basically using a lathe, right? It's almost like cheating. Gotta get my welding settings right, you know? At least he got people to use different types of tools than just a lathe to make a pen. So there's that. But there's no point in complaining about it unless you have a solution for it. So then I knew that I had to come up with my own project to not use a lathe to make a pen. So that's what all these nuts are for. I'm making a nut pen. That'll stop the ink cartridge from going too far through. I want this bolt to look like a cap on the end, but I don't want to weld it. So I'm gonna to try to jam two nuts together. And this is why I didn't just put a long bolt through the inside in the first place. It's because it's really difficult to get them all lined up, see? But this works good for this part because then I can just torque them really hard into place. And then once they're tightened, super tight and they're lined up, this bolt won't come out and I don't have to weld it. Oh yeah, there we go. Lined up. Back to welding. Somebody told me once, it's complaining if you point out a problem, but you don't have a solution, or you at least don't even try to find a solution. So that's why I'm making this. I needed to prove to myself that I wasn't just complaining about people using drills as lathes, because when I first thought about it, I was like, how would you make a pen without a lathe? Because that's the obvious tool to use. So now the drill is spinning this. If it was spinning that, that would be lathing, right? So I'm not, but that makes me want to challenge you guys to make pens without using any spinny tools whatsoever. Cause I came up with this idea and I thought I didn't have to use spinny tools, but here we are. My welds are ugly and everybody knows that I'm a terrible welder. So uh, that's no surprise but I'd like to see what people can come up with without using any spinny tools at all uh, to make a pen. You know what I mean? I can't give you any prizes like a $700 lathe, but uh, you know, there, you, it could, you could challenge yourself. That would be cool, right? Anyway, let's clean this up, see what it looks like. Whoa. There's my pen body. Now I just need to uh, put the pen in it. need to tape it off. Wow, that's way too much tape. Because I don't want to get this stuff on the end of it. I don't think it'll work anymore. You might be thinking, once this thing is out of ink, I can't use it anymore. But all I really have to do is mix up more of this stuff and break this off at the tip, and then I can stick a new thing in and put this in. It's more difficult than unscrewing it, but it's still reusable.
no lathe pen. Just some weldy bits and some nuts and uh, a little bit of epoxy. The epoxy was left over, so if you don't count that and the pen that I took apart for free, and if you don't count the weld, yeah. So if you don't count the scrap bolt, the welding, and the leftover epoxy, this cost me $2. Probably my favorite pen now. Mostly because I've never made a pen before. And now I think I have to do what everybody else did when they ended their video. Is that good? Is that a good ending? <laughs>